Right, there's the car. And I put a stone on the top. There's a big group of people coming now, so that little stone is what I put on there. It's about 15 people on the way. I, I wouldn't want to stop. I'm not, I, I never intended to stay there anyway. I'm going to Holford for my picnic. Anyway, there's the track I'm going on. And there you've got beautiful views of all the combes. Somerton Combe, Slaughterhouse Combe, Hodder's Combe, Shepherd's Combe, Ladies' Edge up the top, and then you've got Holford Combe over that way. Um, if you do the Holford Combe walk, that's, that will, and you climb up, you can go up to the hill for it. But that's a different walk, and that is, um, that's quite a hike from that's even further over for me to have to have done. So. Basically, I, I don't know if that big herd of people will picnic on the top there. That's a lovely bush, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? It's lovely berries. Very pretty. See no deer so far, but I haven't really been scouring like I do. If I pick something up, I'd be homing in. But I think they've they're elsewhere. I think there's been a hunt recently. They're all in hiding, and th there's hunts go on. In, they still go on, even in the winter. The hunts go on. But I'll be going up that coombe later, and I'll be going up that one. Shepherd's Coombe, up at the top there where Bitnola Post would be. But before I do that, Annette, before I do that bit over there, I'm going to be going down into those trees. Um, I'll be going down into the, going down over that way. And uh, right down into Holford Car Park, but I, the thought of having twenty odd people following up my rear, if you like, it's not appealing. Of course, if you follow this, no, we're almost split now. It's just over there. If you go down there, you'll pick it up anyway. It's the um, what do you call it? Lower hair nap. I mean, if I didn't want to go to Holford, what I do now, I double back and I do lower hair nap on the way back. But that is too nice a day today for me to abandon going to Holford for my picnic. And I'll be walking up instead of down. Quite often, I usually am coming down through Hodder's Coombe. Right then, I'm just going to turn off a minute. I wanted to do a bit more up there, but there's too many people for me. Right, overnight, right, I'm leaving the um, lower hair nap there. And there's the trick point up there. And I've got the hill fort there. And if there's no sign of those people yet, they could well have branched off. So basically, they've gone quiet anyway. They're probably stuffing their faces. So, it's about 20 to 1. So I've decided it's safe to go. I could have taken a short buck, shortcut back there and ended up at the, the fords and the streams in uh, Holder's Coombe. But I did say to myself I would do this today. Um, it's turned into an afternoon walk now. I've already done a lot. I've been right up there. I've been the other side of there. I can't see those other people. And I just want to really get to Holford and have my cheese and tomato. But of course it will be lunchtime. 
and the whole green could be covered in fam with families. I'm going against families, it's just I do things on my own. I've done things with my kids and my families. This is a, a different thing. I can't explain it. It's just that I've always loved the corn talks and the mendips. I like all loads of parts of the country, but these are special to me. These areas. And um, I feel a bit under pressure because I was being followed by a herd. I didn't really have the time I'd like to have had on the carn. This was, um, you could tell these people weren't going to move. They were hogging the carn. They were like hogging. They didn't sort of step back or anything. And uh, I just hope that big group pushed them off. You could tell they brought just the whole body language, their whole attitude. Some people do that sort of thing, you know. And because they're in a group, they feel empowered. You know, I'm a woman on her own, don't forget. A woman on her own. Right, now over there we've got the plant, what I call the plantation trees. Those trees were placed there to remember the people of the Second World War from this area. And uh, they they planted some more, and then the cows were up there eating the new saplings. They had to put some more up. See, there's an, a way I do sometimes. You have to get in that wood and walk up the back there to the hill fort. That's a different. That's what you do. You get into what's called Holford Coombe down there, and then you find a path and get up and. Um, and you walk along the top. That's a different walk. And it's, uh, I haven't prepared myself for that one. Um, that would be one that is possible to do. I mean, I've done it loads of times. It's just timing. Timing. I've already started early. I mean, I got that. 20 to 9 bus from Taunton. I was in Bit Noller by 10 past 8 and I've been walking ever since. So I've been walking, it'll be 5 hours. It's not 1 o'clock yet, but it soon will be. I've been walking for 5 hours and I haven't stopped. Apart from stopping like this to video or take a photo. Hinkley points over there, but it's too misty. I'm not going to bother using my battery zooming into that. Right, over and out again, folks. Just little snippets, just to give you an idea. Those that you follow me will have realised I haven't actually been up here for a few years. Um, I haven't had Alberta for... It'll be two years in January, so... Um, it's going to be like over two years really since I've been on this particular route. Of course I've been to the Quantocks. Of course I have. The route I'm doing now is going to take me to the car park where I used to park Alberta when I came over here. And as I was saying to myself earlier, I shall feel a bit sad uh, whenever I go near that car park. It just remind you know, I'm going to half think, oh, where's my van? Because the last time I brought Albert over here, she, someone vandalised her exhaust. Or it could have already been vandalised by um, somebody in the town. Uh, and and um, I, ha I had to, my exhaust was hanging off, dragging on the road when I had been walking and I was going back. That was her last trip here. Someone, someone, I had lots of things done to her. There's, there's some nasty people about. And, um, there's somebody coming now. So, yeah, so I should always feel a bit sad though. That I got rid of her before I probably would have. On again. I'm trying to do 
a little bit of continuity, but when anyone comes along, I tend to turn it off. And then I still need to do photos, don't forget. So I've just been taking some pictures of these trees. Um, we'll be coming to a gate not too far away now, and then we're almost back at the Holford Glen. Holford Green, I should say. Not quite yet. I knew this would be a good hike today. I knew it was going to be a eight, nine hour hike. And I've still got to walk home and I haven't got any Prosecco. I've still got to go to the co-op when I get back. <laughs> so I've got to walk that little bit extra just to get my Prosecco. They'd run out in Tesco. They'd run out. Last oh, bottle, I managed to get it. A small one, I only have small ones. Now, once you have more than one, two glasses, after that, it's, I don't know, don't taste the same. Here's the bench, here we are. This is the bench. It is a nice place to sit and have your picnic in many ways, and it's got gorgeous views. But I want to really get to the the coombe because this is on a public route. Holford 2000 Millennium. Imagine that was spanking new once. My sister Jude's probably sat on that with her husband Stuart. Bet you anything. Bet you anything she has. I've sat on it, but not today. The thing is, if it's really pack down here I won't I won't be stopping to uh, if there's a free bench I will <sighs> yeah if there's a free bench I've got to walk well ain't too bad walking back up actually it's not too bad not really up through uh, Hodder's Coombe and I mean, I don't know how bad, how full the streams are going to be. That's some Holford Coombe down there. If you want to do the hill fort any time, you need to get into that coombe. There are other ways to get to it. And here's a way. Say you came from the car park up there. Just go down there. That takes you down. There are lots of ways down to that coombe, but that's, that's one way down. Um... Like I say, anyone who follows my videos, I've still got loads and loads of videos, you know, I haven't even put on for YouTube. The only thing is, those early ones, I'm a bit worried about their, what they come out like now. To tell the truth, those early videos I've done. If I put them on now. Yeah, I wasn't all I didn't put I did add some later. Over and out 